Hi everybody, it's Amy Anamkara. Welcome to Tea and Crystal Talk. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to Tea and Crystal Talk with me. Um, today we're gonna be talking about a really amazing stone, the Prophecy Stone. But first I wanted to talk a little bit about the tea that I'm drinking today. Um, I am drinking Rooibos tea right here. This just happens to be the company that I have. Um, it's called Equal Exchange and it's a caffeine free tea. And um, the reason why I chose this is because I was looking for a real earthy um, tea today, which I thought would go really well with the um, stone that I have selected today. So some of the health benefits of Rooibos is that it is um, packed with antioxidants, which are really great for cell repair and for um, um, helping with uh, free radicals, getting those getting those out of there. Um, it's also great for heart health. It also helps with type two diabetes, keeping blood sugars level. Um, and it's also really good for the skin if you are somebody that suffers from redness of the skin. I do, I do especially this time of the year, like around my nose, I'm kind of red. So um, yeah, so this is a really great tea. Um, and it, the tea itself, it's grown in South Africa and it's really like a bush and they use the leaves. And this is what it, this is what it looks like here. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty interesting. So it's a red tea and it's, uh, it's a really great tea. It's very earthy, I love it. So um, let's go ahead and get going on the crystal. Okay, so let's talk about our stone. So today's stone is called the Prophecy Stone. And this is it right here. I had actually purchased this, um, gee, this past winter somewhere in New York City. And it's a very, very unusual stone. It looks unusual. It doesn't look like your typical beautiful crystal. Um, it's actually... Um, it kind of looks like, um, well, it kind of looks like stool or poop or shit, basically. Um, and they usually come in all different uh, shapes, but it usually looks like this, this dark brown color right here. And um, it's not found very readily. This piece um, came from the uh, piece of the Sahara Desert called the the um, Libyan desert, and um, they just are, they, they form in this, they can form like in really long pieces or in balls, but basically like they look like, it looks like shit, which is pretty funny because this is like a tremendously powerful stone. And we'll talk about the uses for, for this um, a little bit later. So the composition of this is, um, it is uh, limonite and hematite, but it is, it was pseudomorphed. So it was, uh, it was another um, mineral combination, but for some reason during some kind of a transformation, it changed and so now it's this composition. It almost looks like there's like a really, um, like there's a coating over it. Um, and it can be smooth or bumpy. Like I said, it could be round. It, it really depends on, on what you find. But that's the, the composition of it. Um, hematite and, and limonite or limonite are uh, an iron ore. So it's, it's actually a very weighty piece. Um, and I did a little research on purchasing this, this particular stone and it's anywhere between a dollar and two dollars a gram so it can be it can be costly so you just want to you know if you're going to purchase something like this um you know just just know that this is really like i said this isn't really something that you would purchase as a gift for somebody else um 
because it's not really a very attractive stone, but um, when you see this and it calls you, you are just gonna know. You're really, really gonna know. Um, yeah, so that's the composition of it. That's where it is located. So let's talk about what we do with the Prophecy Stone. So how do I use this stone? I like to have this stone present with me when I am using my tarot cards. I feel that it open, opens me up for messages um, and I just tend to go uh, deeper in the readings. I also like to bring this stone with me when I'm going on walks, especially when I'm contemplating something. Um, it helps me really open up. It's, it's pretty, pretty amazing. It's just such a wonderful grounding. It's a really, really great grounding, grounding stone. So that's really um, how I have been using it lately. This stone is also great for working in with the collective, working with groups. So if you're interested, let's say, in uh, a group that is interested in manifesting something in common, this is a really great stone to use, and it's also great for using in prayer groups. Um, this is also, and I'm not really quite sure why, but it's also used um, if you are interested in um, winning a legal case. So having this around um, is supposedly helpful. So that's it for me and my little prophecy stone. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, comment and share. And if you have a suggestion for a stone that you would like to learn more about, please let me know in the comments and I'll put something together. Um, other than that, I wish you a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you for watching.